What is going on all my fellow nerds and geeks? So this is a, I'm pretty excited for this episode. Uh, so you guys know that I've been collecting the He-Man Pez and there's been a bunch of back and forth on whether or not Funko's losing the Masters of the Universe licenses or whatever, 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 and all this stuff. Um, I was able to get my hands on a Faker Chase. I actually ordered from a company. I was a little nervous about ordering from this company because of the fact that um, I never heard of it before, but they had them online. It was a really good deal. You get basically the He-Man and the Chase of the Faker. And so I was really leery. It also said pre-order, so I didn't know when I was going to get them. It actually shipped like the next day I got a shipping confirmation. And then a couple days later, it said it was here. And so I checked the mail last night and it was here. I was a little scared though, because when I opened the box, I actually saw three Pez in there. And the way that it was kind of laid out is it had bubble wrap all over it, but it was kind of sitting like this, where you could see there was three in there, but you couldn't tell what the bottom two were. And so I pulled the top one off and I looked in and I couldn't actually see the way it was laid out with the candy in there. I couldn't really tell that one was the, uh, the chase or not. So for some reason they sent me two of the commons and one of the chase. So I am super happy I actually got the Faker Chase, and uh, for some reason, two commons of the He-Man. So now I have two extra of the He-Man Pezes. Uh, I'm probably gonna take one out of the package because I've never actually taken one of the, uh, I've never taken one of the Pez out of the package before. I've always just left them in. Um, so let's pop it, out. maybe not because I don't wanna, oh, okay, there we go, we're good. We're good. Let's pop it out and actually look at one of these Pez's. I've never actually taken one out of the box. I mean, I've had Pez growing up, you know, but I've never actually taken one of the Funko ones out. So it looks like it's packaged almost the same way um, as a regular pop is. They've got the same flaps and stuff. The candy itself has its own little uh, piece of plastic to hold it in place. We were actually talking about this yesterday about uh, maybe making something to get rid of this candy because we've uh, it, this candy does not last if it's stored for a long time. Some of the old Pez from like the 60s and 70s and 80s, this candy is actually deteriorated. And the, the guy that I'm talking about with the Pez collector guy, he has lost a lot of Pez because he just stored them and they, they were in boxes for years, 20 years plus in some cases, and he pulled them out and they were all completely like the candy had melted into goo and he said he actually lost like a thousand of his of his uh, original Pez. So here we go, we've actually threw the <laughs> Sorry about that. Holy cow. <laughs> it slid right out of my hands. So here we go, we've got the He-Man Pez up close. So you can see it's got the Pez writing on the side. This is the first time. It's got the same feeling of the original Pez does. I haven't actually had a Pez in a long time. Um, he was telling me, the Pez Collector, there is a number under here. I don't know if it'll focus on that number because of how small it is. But this number on the side, you can kind of see the white writing on there. There you go. So that number, I guess, lines up with the box. And all the pieces have a little number on them. So uh, they all line up and they all... Uh, they all go together with the box and these pieces, so you can't like swap the boxes and stuff. I, it was interesting, I didn't know that. So there we go, we've got a He-Man out of the box. I'm actually going to leave this out of the box and put it up with my other He-Man stuff. So really, really, really cool. So like I said, I was very happy to get that chase. The big thing, um, I wouldn't say this is a grail because it's, it's brand new, but the original for me would have been a grail. And the fact that we were able to uh, get this and you know what I'm gonna wait on that I'm gonna wait because it's it's pretty cool and I've got a couple other little things I want to show off first and one of them is HQ actually got in some more of the decon shirts and so I was able to pick up the lucky the leprechaun decon shirt and they actually have a few other ones and I think I'm gonna pick up one of each of them just because at first I thought they were kid sizes because a lot of the the ad icon stuff is kid sizes Well, they've got a couple other ones. So I think I'm going to pick up the other ones as well. So you can see here um, What the shirt actually will look like inside of the package uh, I I might take this out and wear it for like uh, St. Patrick's Day. I don't know yet I haven't decided because I did get one that has a pretty good box. 
So um, I'm not sure. And these are limited to a thousand pieces. So there's that. And then I got myself a very little, I almost dropped this too. Holy cow, Butterfingers today. A very little tiny ghost. So we have, this is the, actually the, the big version of this is the Emerald City Comic Con uh, 2018 exclusive Tiny Ghost. And it does, this does glow. Uh, I don't think I posted pictures on my Instagram. The dog is smelling all the stuff down here. I don't think I posted pictures of this on my Instagram. And he's gonna think it's a toy. I, I dropped it again, holy cow. Um, I'm pretty excited about this, uh, this last piece here. And the dog is trying to get all the stuff. So I'm not paying attention to him. But uh, this does glow really good. And the big one does glow also. Really, really hard to come by the original of this. So I don't know that I'll ever own it. But um, yeah. So what I was talking about, what I'm super excited about. And like I said, it's not a grail per se. But I don't think I'll ever own the original. So I'm very excited for it. And it is the specialty series Glow in the Dark Genie. So I know we all seen that crazy Will Smith genie and everyone's giving it a bunch of guff because of how he looks. I love Will Smith. I'm going to wait to say any bad things. I do think that the, the, I don't know, maybe it wasn't finished. I don't know. It just did not look great, but I'm waiting to see because I have liked all of the live action Disney movies so far. So very, very excited for this. Like I said, it's not a grail per se, but I probably will never own an original genie. So, um, this one, and I did do the glow. It's right here and it looks amazing. So you guys will be looking at the glow right now. I already went and looked at it. Um, I am super excited. I am a little worried because it is gonna go right into this cabinet right here, but I, he might be too tall. And I'm hoping that he's not and I'm hoping that I can fit him in there because I really want him to be in with the glow pops. Uh, such a great job. So, this is what I think the Red Jafar genie should have been. The whole body glows. His head, his upper torso, everything. Not just the smoke coming out, which is what the genie, the Red Jafar chase was. And it was a big letdown. But this one, they really hit it out of the park. You've got a great pose. You've got a great genie. I don't want to drop this one, so I'm going to do it double-handed. Um... They just did a great job with this. And like I said, his whole upper body and head, everything glows. And it looks really, really cool. So let's see if I can get this to fit. Unfortunately, one guy is getting taken out of this display case. Maybe, because I he might be too tall. I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping he's not. And unfortunately, the one getting taken out is going to be Tron. Just because I love this pop and I love this chase. The metallic and the glow is awesome. But inside this box, the glow doesn't really come off very well because of, it's just basically his, his little design on here. So crossing my fingers that he actually fits and he does fit tall wise. Oh man, he is, we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to do some adjusting. I do have a little bit of room to play with on both sides of this display case. So we can kind of shift some stuff over. I'm just happy tall wise he fits cause I can make the other stuff work. Um, because I, I have a little bit of wiggle room. So I should be able to make it just over just enough that he will, those big old arms of his will fit inside. There we go. Oh, super stoked. Amazing. Um, these good cases look great. I will take some close up shots of him in the case. Uh, I'll probably readjust it just a little bit so they kind of fit a more equally spread apart. But that is it. Super excited. Like I said, not a grail per se, but the character himself is a grail to me because I love Robin Williams. I love the original Aladdin. I'm a huge Disney animated fan growing up. We used to watch those movies like crazy. Uh, I actually just recently cleaned out my mom's storage and got all of our old clamshell cases of Disney movies. Did not realize how wrecked they were. We watched them so much that those cases are destroyed, but I still have all of our originals, so I thought that was cool. Uh, VHS tapes. I know, kids, you don't know what a VHS tape is, but it's what we used when we didn't wear them out, which a lot of times happened. So thank you again for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at nerdsmithing. I will be posting some up close pictures of this and some other stuff. I always have some up close shots of things on there. I like taking all the around shots, stuff like that. So as always, stay awesome people.